All right, well, FedEx came and got some more parts for the Ranger. Um, some more stuff should be coming in today. I think this is what it is. It's gonna turn, well, not completely change it, but it'll make the front look a lot better. So let's see. What the packing slip, this, that, and some more freaking wrap. Blade. Oh yeah. It's really hard to do it one hand, but I'm gonna do it. I'm determined. Ah! Oh yeah. That's so much better than what it's gonna be. Wait. Oh yeah. Nice. Not a hundred percent what I wanted, but it's what I could find for now. I wanted to find the chrome grill that's all the way across, but it'll work. It'll uh, you know, it was only like fifty or sixty bucks. So let's uh, get this on there. And just like that, it's done. I want to get, so, like I said, I didn't really want this black one, or it, well, I wanted the whole chrome one, but the black one, this one here, it comes, you can actually take this whole section out and put like a mesh grill or billet grill or whatever you want inside of it. So this will work for now. I could always just paint this. I could always paint to match it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, when I change the wheels, I think I'm, well, I'm going to get different emblems for it. Because when I change the wheels again, I think I'm going to put the white ones on it. So if I put the white wheels, I want to do white accents. Not crazy gaudy like a lot of other people will do. But white wheels, I think I'm going to get the white like Ford emblems. I ordered the lights. Those haven't come in yet. Those should be in this week. So I'll get those. I mean, I got them clean and stuff like that. They look good. But they're just going to be better when they're clear. So get those on there and then... Yeah, so, but I'm happy with that. It looks a thousand times better than no grill at all because it just looked like it got its teeth knocked out. So, hopefully, in this video, we're going to get the lights in and we'll see about the taillights. But either way, this looks sick and let's get these other lights. All right, so what I'm going to do today to the Ranger is, uh, as you can see, I already got some stuff off. But if you look, they did this splatter. And I want to get it all, it's all around this. It was around the radio bezel, the, you know, everything. It had it all on it. So taking everything off, going to scuff it down and uh, just repaint it black. Uh, I'm not big. I was when, you know, I was like 16. I thought that that was cool personally. So I'm going to sand it down and then just probably just trim black all of this stuff back to black just to get it. A little classier look, I think. So I'm gonna go with that, get it all off, just come it down, sand it, paint it, whatever. <laughs> Still gotta get the emblem, but we're getting some stuff done. All right, well, I guess the light's working, but whatever, that helps. So also what I got was some white face gauges. Um, it's not the whole gauge cluster. It's literally just turns all these here into white, which is cool. So I, mean, I got them for free. So I'm gonna take the gauge cluster out, pop the black off and put the white ones on. I just think they'll look cool. So uh, let's get those on. Let's try this thing. Just like that. Wow, this is dusty as hell. Oh, I still gotta put it all back together. I'm waiting for the paint to dry from all the blue splatter and stuff. This stuff though, I'm not, I'm gonna try to just find black door panels 
because this doesn't come apart. This is like all one piece. So I'm either gonna scuff these down, whatever, but not right now. I mainly wanna get the dash and all that stuff all back to good. I also ran my RCAs and stuff and tucked them up better because they were all hanging down here. So those are all tucked up, zip tied up out the way. I still gotta get, I think I have one, I'm gonna look for it, the radio bezel that clips into the surrounding part so that the radio is not all, you know, floppy loosey goosey up in there. So I'm gonna get this the rest of the way, put back together for now. And yeah, so let's put that back together. Well, this sucks. I went to go take my hood latch off because this panel right here was missing and they just had the two screws there and I made a dummy mistake. If you can look, that's the head of the bolt or screw. And there ain't nothing left. So what I'm doing, if I can get it up in there, as you can see here, it broke. So I got my needle nose up in here and I'm trying to get it loose enough where I can uh, see if I can do this with the just one hand. Anyways, you get the idea. I was using these to unscrew it because this was like way up in there. So I got it a lot closer. So I'm going to get that out so I can screw all this back together and uh, put it back together. It's really hard to do, but I think I'm on the last turn. Oh, oh sick. Woo. So as you can see, that guy was up in there that broke off because damn snap on tool i just snapped it right off but i'm just glad i didn't have to drill it out which wouldn't have been a big deal because i'm sure i have another clip somewhere but i got it out and that's gonna go in the trash i'm gonna put a new one on there and get this panel on well i got the inside all done but i started messing with this and uh i'm gonna chip all this shit away <laughs> And probably just trimmed like this as well because this is just falling right off. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So just chip this stuff. It's all sunburn away and whatever. It's super dry and it's kind of satisfying to pick it off. It's kind of like pulling sunburn skin off or whatever you want to call it satisfying. So I'm going to get all this off and I have to go get some tape to tape off the door because I really don't want to bend this because I know a lot of people when they take these off they're never really right when you put them back on so I'm just gonna roll the window all the way down then tape it off and whatnot and you know that kind of stuff and tape off the blue uh anyways so the other thing I wanted to do though is until I get the paint I think I'm gonna go buy I know a bunch of people are gonna jump on me for it but I think I'm so this is a sonic blue color. I think I'm gonna test it like the spray paint can. I know it's not whatever. The whole truck's eventually gonna get, you know, some respray because if you can tell the hood's a little faded. So, but I'm gonna try to buff that out, whatever. But I'm gonna order white emblems, which would be pretty cool with the white wheels, the white gauges, just small little white accents here and there. And I think I wanna paint this black insert blue to match the truck same with the bumper because the paint match bumpers just look so much better in my opinion so you know i'm gonna try out the rattle can and just see how it turns out if it turns out good enough then it turns out good enough and then see you later so but i am gonna uh back at this now i am gonna trim black all this stuff and kind of just you know tighten it up and make it a little bit better here and there rough around the edges so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick away at this and then i'm gonna go get some tape and oh oh that's a good one nice anyways so i'm gonna go get some tape and uh tape this stuff off and maybe see if they got that sonic blue color and if they do then sick if not then i'll i'll wait so but anyways yeah And I got the bumper off, so 
I took the regular bolts out, and then I didn't realize that someone had put bolts through the fenders to kind of help the sagging from the side. So now I know where those are. But I got that off. I'm going to sand this down, and uh, hopefully that paint matches pretty well. All right, well, I got the bottom valance off, and uh, I got that adhesion promoter for uh, so I could put some primer on it. And then I got some duplicolor perfect match stuff to hopefully fingers crossed that it matches good enough so i'm letting this get tacky a little bit and then i'm uh gonna put some primer on it so that i could start laying some base coat on there and uh yeah and i know a lot of people are gonna give me trash for you know using rattle cam blase blase bullshit whatever but this this balance i'm probably not keeping forever i eventually want the ones with fog lights but for now until i get that this will do and hopefully be able to uh, make it look a little better. I got to get two little dents out on the metal part of the bumper. So it's like right here. You can kind of see, yeah, there's a little dent there and a bigger one there. So I'm just going to smack it a couple times and then try to smooth it out and then whatever, sand it down and let her eat. Uh, it's kind of hard to compare because the truck's not here. It's actually at my buddy's. He's uh, redoing the air manifold. So that's the first pass with the blue from the rattle cam, whatever. Obviously, it was just trying to get it all blue or whatever. So I got two whole cans. So, I mean, that's not even half a can right there. And like I said, it's hard to say without the truck here. But I like this better than the dingy multicolored black. So... I'm going to let this dry for about 5-10 minutes, get it, you know, another coat on there, and uh, yeah, then I'll probably let this dry and sit, whatever, while I work on the metal one. Well, I kind of screwed the pooch. Uh, got it blue. It looks good, right? From here, it looks great while I'm moving around and stuff. Now, let me grab the flashlight. If you look close... It's got like multicolored flake in it. Let me see how I can make this work. There you go, you can kind of see it. I can really see it in person. You can't really see it on camera. But anyways, there you go, that's kind of a... So, not gonna be putting any more of that clear on it. So I'm probably just gonna let this rock on here and just use the regular god it's so purple in person you can kind of see it on camera but i'm just gonna let this rock for a little bit and uh eventually get a different valance and whatnot so i'm gonna uh just i, I don't even know what i'm gonna do i'll probably just leave this alone and once i get the new valance whatever so this kind of sucks but i got the dents as much as i can get where I'm happy with it out of the metal part of the bumper. Just enough, like this one needs to be hit a couple more times, but enough where I'm gonna sand it and paint it and put it on there for now, just to put the bumper back on, cause who knows, I'll probably find a nice one, a new one or something different, but this is just for now, cause I hate the black. The black on black on blue, it just looks dumb to me. So I'm gonna sand this down and then paint it, so. That's a bummer, but whatever. It is what it is. Maybe I'll like it. I doubt it, but maybe I will. Still doubt it. got the top half done now this turned out great now that I use the right clear um, luckily I actually had some so I think it turned out pretty freaking awesome and uh, 
I actually went over this with that same clear. And I mean, I just, I'm hoping that, I mean, from right here, I mean, obviously the light is a little different in this section, but they look relatively close. This looks a little darker, a little bit more purple in person. The real sign or real tall tail sign is when this is together with that and then that whole thing is on the truck. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna let it cure completely. And I got the bolts, the bolts over here soaking in some penetrating oil just cause they were a little bit rough. And uh, I figured what the hell, might as well just let them soak overnight. Let this dry overnight. I know it's kind of loud. I got my propane heater and it's a little loud. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of let this rock for now. Um, put it back together in the morning when it's completely dry so it doesn't you know, go all crazy. So I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I did find out that the air manifold, because my buddy took that, he took the truck so that he could re uh, build the air manifold, or whatever you call it. Um, and it's rough. I'll put some pictures right here. And uh, so hopefully we can either, well not we, hopefully I get enough money to get a new one or hopefully AccuAir sells solenoids or whatever. So we'll see. But let's uh, get these bumpers together and put them on the truck. Oh, cruising down the road. I mean, obviously I need an alignment. This wheel is crooked as shit. And I realize my speedo doesn't work. And my RPMs are super low than they're supposed to be. So I think what I did is the needles, I think I might have pushed them on too far. And they're too, too tight to rotate. So I'm heading down to, uh, heading to the sumo speed. Yahtzee run thing and um, when I get to my buddy's house I'm probably just gonna take it off real quick and uh, see if I can loosen those up and get them to work I mean the gas gauge and temp gauge still works which is cool but uh, I mean, it'd be nice to not have to look at the GPS to see how fast I'm going but either way cruising down there uh, gonna get the truck aligned and just kind of hang out down there for the weekend so What's up guys? So we got the uh, Ranger and it's already a part. I drove it for a couple days. Um, as I saw, or as you all saw, the uh, engine makes a tapping noise. Come to find out it's the timing chain guides, which I'm gonna get fixed. Um, it's just a matter of getting the parts and doing it. But uh, kind of going down the rabbit hole with this thing already. Um, Cause some of the airlines, just not great they're like hard plastic airlines and it's just the car the truck was kind of neglected so me and my buddy Brian we are uh, updating it and making it better you know the air management uh, manifold was bad I mean there was a whole bunch of things that were bad on it so right now we got it ripped apart you know and uh, yeah so I'll show you guys that I'm not gonna film much of the shop just because someone else's shop um, but uh, give you a little glimpse of what's going on and y'all haven't seen the wheels on it yet I don't think I mean if y'all follow me on Instagram you've seen it but going through it updating some of this you know there was like a trailer ramp that made all this mounted so doing a whole bunch of stuff it's a mess and like I said the bed is off of it and uh yeah so i got the new, put newer shocks on it because these were just completely blown out i think they're bad but 
doing some things here. Got the interior ripped out, but yep. So this is it in its current state. All right, got the bed back on there. So realize that the whole C notch is just cut wrong and welded uneven. So this back corner here actually is up higher than the rest of it. So the whole truck is kind of sitting like this. Yes, I know it says Virgin. So I'm using this to be a spacer on the bottom side of the new compressor and manifold and tank mount bracket. I ended up cutting the whole trailer ramp thing out. Use this plexi that he's got to kind of have the white with the white wheels and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make this, put this on there, get it in the truck and then start wiring and plumbing it. All right guys, well, like you saw, the truck's still in pieces and uh, well, we gotta wait on some parts and stuff like that. So, waiting for parts. As soon as those come in, my buddy and I, we're gonna get it all together. And uh, yeah, so I'm actually, as you can see, I'm in the truck and I'm driving south because I am going to the NMRA Spring Break, Spring Break Bash at uh, Orlando Speed World and I'm driving in the uh, Drift Invitational. So the fun haver and all them people are gonna be there. And uh, yeah, so I got invited by uh, you know Sarah Harris. She told me I should come down, so we're going down. And uh, so you'll stick, stick around for the next one because um, that will be where I pick up. So next time you see me, I will be in Orlando. Well, I'll probably be home, but you know what I mean. So you can like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you know, see you in the next one. See ya.